All right, so here we are in Neyland Stadium, a cloudy day for our first ever home game in Knoxville. Pretty excited about this one, been looking forward to it. We've had a few games on the road, and it's nice to be here at home. It's the environment I've been waiting to play in. It's also a huge home field advantage here at Neyland. We're down on Shields Watkins Field for our first play right here. Just going to go over a couple games real quick. And on this play, we air it out. And it is caught the one yard line. That is Squirrel White with a huge catch there. So we get the third and goal. We hand it off. Dylan Sampson, he's in for the score. That's a nice way to start off with our first drive at home. Some points on the board. We should be able to run it up this game. And we're going to run a play action here in the second quarter. Airing it out again. We're just toasting these defenders. Touchdown. Once again, that's Squirrel White. Got crazy speed. In real life this season, he's number three, but they still got him as number 10 in the game. A huge play there. For a 14 to three, you get the ball back. On another drive, we throw it to a wide open man in the end zone again. Mike Matthews. And once again, Aaron, this one out. What a catch on the sideline from Chris Brazel gets just one foot in just barely it was really close hard to tell but Mac rolling out to his left throwing over the field and that's caught and he takes it in for a touchdown Mike Matthews again up 31 to 6 running a play action here in the third quarter deep ball is caught once again and we've got it. We're rolling out to the right. Throwing on the run. Perfect. Touchdown. Vols once again. Squirrel White. Going crazy. Just a great throw. On the move across the body. I see Mac actually making those throws. It was a little low. Could have been better. But plenty good enough. And play fake. Got a man open, kind of a high throw, but he still makes the grab, gets in for the touchdown. That's Caleb Webb with the touchdown on that one, and we secure the victory 48-13 to over FCS Northwest. Mack wins player of the game, not the best completion percentage still. You saw the highlights there, but still a lot of incompletions. Just got to work on that. It's still a really good game for Mack, definitely his best yet. And is really able to air it out. Show off his arm talent in this one. And we can take a look at the stats. You know, 375 yards, five touchdowns. Like we saw earlier. And then rushing uh, had 45 yards. So we're in our next game here at home again. This time we're playing UAB. A slightly better opponent. But opponent we still should take care of handily. You know, we're going to try the same thing, just throwing it down the field. A nice catch there. And then Dylan Sampson, same thing as last game, takes it in for our first points. So we get the ball back. The 14. And the deep slant there, and he takes it in. Touchdown, Squirrel White. Just going off. It's two games. And we're backed up pretty far, but we throw it deep. A perfect place throw by Mack. And he takes it all the way. Turns out to a 94-yard touchdown to Mike Matthews. 21-13 to 13 right now. We need to crack this thing wide open. Throwing it deep. In stride. Touchdown. Guess who? Squirrel White. Another deep bomb. Yeah, perfect throw from Mac. Made some excellent throws this game. We won 35 to 16. 
believe he was taken out before the fourth quarter again. And once again, he wins player of the game. Not many yards, but much better completion percentage. And he directs the band after the game. Here we are ready for our next game, week five, against Mississippi State. Let's go 2-0 in the conference and make ourselves 5-0 and overall. And hopefully put us inside the top 25. Four yards. Oh, there we go. We've got him. Squirrel right. Squirrel white. There he goes. Touchdown. Let's go. He toasted the defense. I've been building. I've been building up that confidence these last couple games, playing this uh, these low level corners. It's made me realize, you know. I can take some chances, take some shots, trust my eyes. Oh, that first down, nice. Come on, stand still. Oh my gosh, dude, Matt can't throw the football. Like, he's so horrible at throwing the ball. Like, I don't get it. I literally came to a complete stop and set my feet so we can make an accurate throw, and he still couldn't do it to a wide open man. There is nobody there. If he just completes the pass, it's an automatic first down. I mean, who is going to stop him there? It just kills me to watch. Okay, that was not what I thought. It's not who I thought I was throwing it to, but yeah, they're going to throw the ball. Got Mo Bamba playing. They got the cowbell going. Two things that I don't really associate with each other, but all my yapping will take it to the second quarter. All right, just give me some space to work with here. There we go. Come on, catch the ball. Let's go. Oh, okay, first down. That's all we needed. Chance to score our second touchdown of the game. I really wish I could audible right here. Because I don't want to run this ball straight to the teeth of the, of the defense. But We're going to cut. Get in there, Mac. Let's go. Diving. Touchdown. UT. We're going to extend the lead here. Let's check the replay on that. I saw that lane up the middle. I was like, I knew I probably should have handed it off. With a scrambling quarterback, just unable, unable to go break a tackle. Slide down, please. Nice. Makes up for it there. Completely messed up the throw. Come on, he's got him. What? What? Dude, how? He has him beat by three steps, and he just, for some reason, throws the, tosses the ball up in the middle of the field. I had the vision. I saw the wide open guy. Like, I don't know. Did we get hit as we, as we threw or something? I mean, that's the only possible explanation. That should have been a freaking touchdown for us. Now it's a five point ball game. It's just the stuff like this, like, I'm just getting really sick of. What a spin move. So we are a yard short. Wouldn't make sense if it was any other way. But I would love to just be able to call an audible, run the ball right up the middle here, but. This game doesn't really work like that, so we're going to cough it up. I have to fight for our lives to stay undefeated just because of a like one little thing. It's always one little thing that's not in my control. It's not my fault. And then, and then it turns into like five little things. I mean, he just... <laughs> he Mac didn't even get tackled. He just lost the ball. Yeah, just take it to half. Good grief. What a disaster. What a freaking disaster. Oh my freaking gosh, dude. I don't know why I freaking tried that. Gosh dang it, dude. Max just melted. He's just absolutely melted. Come on. Please. There we go. He finally makes a throw. My gosh. I mean, I'm playing on all American guys with a 90 overall quarterback. 
he just can't make throws half the time. Bro. Like, 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 that's not a good decision. But it's it's a perfect throw. He makes a perfect throw there. Oh my gosh! I just need to talk bad about my player. The Max Zernachos will just go and throw a a, a, <laughs> a perfect dot. Like I didn't even get the chance to get hyped about that. Squirrel white, but here we are. You know, <laughs> where did the ball go? Okay, so <laughs> Samson got it. He's in for the two point conversion. The camera just flipped the complete opposite way. They're trying to get their cowbells going again. Let's just hand it to Dylan Samson. What a cut! What a cut! And he's to their 39 yard line. Come on, please beat him. Slide, slide. Side stop. He's still on his feet. He's how did he stay up? I don't know. I hit slide like three times. Here we go. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. Go, go, Samson. Go. Let's go, Dylan Samson. Touchdown. Let's go. Huge run, bro. Like Dylan Samson. Like put this man in the Heisman conversation, bro. Let's just pick this up. Third and inches. Come on. Get him some blocks, plenty of room. Offensive line playing great. Dylan Sampson is a great running back. Come on, beat him all the way, all the way. He's going to take it to the nine yard line. What a run! He's got 10 carries for 123 yards on the game. What a beast! 57 yard run on third down and puts us in the red zone with a chance to seal this game. Okay, here's the play I wanted earlier. I don't know if I've don't know if I really want it here, but I'm going to call it anyway, because that's what I said earlier. Oh, good grief. Come on, please tell me I have. Come on, he's, he's wide open, he's wide open. Yes, touchdown, let's go. Mac gets the throw off. I hit the wrong button and everything, because when you're in the I formation, bro, it's confusing the way they have all these buttons up there. But Selden makes the reception just wide open for the touchdown. Mac finally makes a throw under pressure. Progress two guys about to light them up. Just gets the throw off, just enough mustard on it for a touchdown that should put this one away. We are going to start the season five and zero with two wins in the SEC conference. And we, I, in my opinion, we definitely deserve to be in the top 25 after that. I think Dylan Sampson all, honestly deserves player of the game. Just I mean, like I've been saying, like, you know, I, I hope he has this type of season in real life. Because, you know, just watch him the last uh, last season. I think he could be, you know, like one of the best running backs uh, Tennessee ever. It's like career modes and stuff on the football games, bro. I'm used to the running backs, like not being able to do nothing, bro. But Samson's actually like helping us a lot. Like, look, like we literally would not be winning games without him. Like 10.3 yards per carry is insane. 14 for 145. But yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna have for this one. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.